Right then, a nut would say, you see that? Yeah. He's praying to someone else? No. no. Someone said, is God praying to himself? No. <laughs> Let me just straighten that old apostolic lie out. God was praying to himself. God don't pray to nobody. That's right. God don't have to pray. When you pray, you pray to a power higher than yourself. That's right. And when you pray, you need help. That's right. God don't need no help. No. Son of God needed help. No. The flesh prayed, the sacrifice prayed, the man prayed, the offering prayed, the apostle prayed, the minister prayed, the servant prayed. Pray the Lamb of God. Pray the sacrifice of God. Pray, right. trying to get out Damn. of prophecy. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Because the prophets had the Son of God nailed to the cross. Yeah. Saw him dying before he was born. That's right. Prophesied what he would say while he hung there. That's right. Before he died. Yeah. And tell David saw the Son of God before birth That's right. and said in Psalms 22, my God, my, my God, God, why hast thou forsaken why me? Why hast thou forsaken me? Zacharias saw them being nailed. That's right. Thank God and said, they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. The prophet saw him again and said, they pierced my hands and my feet. Let the habitation be desolated. Don't let no one dwell there in their tents and that which has been for welfare. Let it become a trap. Then the prophet saw him coming out the grave before he went in. That's right. He said, I will ransom them from the power of the grave. Saw him getting victory before he died. Right. Oh, grave. <laughs> where, where is your victory? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, death. Where is thy sting? So the prophets ran ahead of the Son of God. The prophets ran ahead of the body of God. The prophets ran ahead of the flesh that God appointed to do his will. Now understand this, that the flesh or the Son of God had a lot of titles. Son of God, servant of God. Son of man, son of a prophet. Not that Joseph was his earthly father, but David was the father of the house that Jesus came out of, which made him son of man. He was called Lamb of God because he was an offering. He would be a sacrifice. So he was called the lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah was one of the original sons of Jacob and there was a lion in there. The lion would be the authority or the power that would come out of Judah's tribe. The lion was the spirit and the lion was hidden by the wool of a lamb. That's right. I hope you can get what I'm telling you. When he walked the earth, he represents power and sacrifice. Power and sacrifice. In the natural, a lion don't represent no sacrifice. In the natural, a lion represents king, ruler, authority, power. So he's called the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. The lion was in the root of David. The lion was in David's house. And when it got in David's house, you couldn't see the lion, but you could hear him when he roared. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The lion was the spirit of God. Hallelujah. And the lamb was the sacrifice of God. Hallelujah. The lion and the lamb Hallelujah. stood before Lazarus' grave. Hallelujah. And the lamb said, Hallelujah. roll the stone away. The lion said, Hallelujah. Lazarus, come forth. Come forth. Hallelujah. 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 Take off. You see what I'm telling you. Hallelujah. 
So he was both lion and lamb. Inner man was God. Outer man, son of God. Inner man was Jehovah. Outer man was the offering set aside to be offered up by the high priest that abided forever. Glory to God, which is Melchizedek. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, listen at this now. And he went a little further and fell on his face. And then I have to go all the way down to where Dan the man stays at that because when I walked in, he was asking such a good question. Yes. Where the Son of God come from? Yeah. Mm, very good question. Mm -hmm. And uh, the world been asking that question for years. And nobody can answer without revelation, without understanding. That's right. All right, get this. And he went a little further and fell on his face and he prayed. He did what? And he went a little further. He went a little further. And fell on his face and prayed. Fell on his face and prayed. Saying, oh, my father. Oh, my father. If it be possible, let this cup pass if for me. If it's possible. If it be possible. God wasn't praying. Flesh was praying to God. That's right. Understand this, viewers. That's right. The son of man was a human body. Right. With many members, eyes, mouth, hands, toes, feet. The purpose of the Bible talking about the members because the members of the one body represent the members of the church, which is the body of Christ. That's right. For as the body is one. Listen. Now the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 12. As the body is, is one. As the church is one. As God's people are one and has many members have many members and all the members of that one all body the members of that one body being many, being many are one body but yet one church so also is christ what so also is christ yes one that's right one christ that's right. head of one body head of one church so the flesh begin to cry out to the spirit oh my father oh my father if what, it what was possible. he doing Leaving an example for the church, letting you know the way the church get when they don't want to do what God say do. That's right. They want a way out. That's right. And sometimes they try to pray to get out. That's right. But uh, not even Jesus got an answer. Amen. Hear this now, viewers, get this. I said, Jesus prayed, and God wouldn't answer him. Amen. So I said, wasn't he going to answer himself? He wasn't talking to himself. No. It was two natures. There was the nature of flesh. Look at Pastor Jennings now. Amen. You see my outer nature, flesh, that have a birthday, that have a beginning. One day it will have an ending. But there's an inner, hallelujah, glory to God, but there's an inner man. Amen. That's God within man. That's right. God in man. When God is in a woman, God is not the woman, but that's God in a woman. That's right. To which God was in Christ Jesus. God was not the man. God was in the man. And then the man had the title of the God that was in him. That's right. The man of him took on the name of God. God's name is not God. God's name is Jesus. And being that God won a sacrifice, he went to the house of David, went to the tribe of Judah, got into the descendants of Shem, the brother of Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and made a sacrifice, and then allowed the sacrifice to inherit his name. Being made so much better than the angels. Do you hear this in the book of Hebrews? Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 4. Focus on the language of the apostle Paul. Being made. What? Being made. That's not God. That's right. It ain't talking about God there. That's right. God ain't made. Yeah. God is the maker. Son of God is me. That's right. And how was he made? Being made so much better than he the angels. He was made better. Better than the angels. Than the angels. As All he, that. Amen. How is he made better than the angels when the Bible said when God made these things, it was good? That's right. <laughs> huh? God saw that he made this, it was good. good. He saw that he made that, it was good. He saw that he made the other, it was good. But when it came to the making of the Son of God, being made so much better, it was made better than the angels. Why? 
When mm. God made the angels, he made the angels and they was holy from the beginning of their creation. That's right. But when he made the son of God, he was made holy from his creation, but he didn't start off man. That's right. So when God made the son of God, Revelation called him a man child, right. meaning a male child. That's right. And God was in the child. That's right. And yet when God was in the child, the child had to develop and, and take on the complete characteristics of the God that was in it. That's right. The spirit that was in him knew everything. I said the spirit that was in him knew everything. That's right. His flesh had to grow. That's right. His flesh had birthdays. That's right. His flesh had to crawl. That's right. His flesh had to walk. That's right. His flesh had to learn to speak. Jesus but increased. But not God. That's right. His he flesh increased. had to be taught. That's right. By God. That's right. So when we preach Jesus Christ as God, we're talking about that which was here long before Mary was born. That's right. We're talking about that which is divine. We're talking about that which led Israel, thank God, out of the hands of the Egyptians. We're talking about he that made the heavens and the earth and Pallades and Orion and Arthicus and Job said in the chambers of the south. We're talking about spirit. We're talking about that which was here before Mary was born. There's a separation in the nature of God and the Son of God, just like there's a separation in the nature of the Holy Ghost and the human family. That's right. When God come in us, that's the Holy Ghost. He come in you to straighten out your temple. He come in you to govern your temple. He come in you to teach your temple. But your temple is not God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. But there's a separation in your nature. Yeah. That's why when a man die, he go, there's a separation of two different locations of his being. That's right. Give me the book of Ecclesiastes quick now. Amen. Just like when God made man, one element came from heaven. Another element came from earth. That's right. And when man died, those two elements separate all over again. In the book of let's Ecclesiastes. Let's get man's creation first, and then let's get man death. Listen to me good now. In the, In the book, book of Genesis, quick. Amen. When God made Adam, Amen. I want to show you the two elements that came. One from above, one from beneath. In the book of and Genesis. And when man died, one go beneath, and the other part go above. All right, follow me and hear me. Let me educate you, and I'll stitch you up good with Jesus. Dan, the man, Stacy Jack, he, he, he start off the sewing machine, and thank God I just want to keep threading the needle, you know. Amen. All right. Genesis chapter 2, we're at verse 7. Follow me. And the Lord God formed man. Listen good. And the Lord God formed man. Lord God formed man. Of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. And breathed right into his nostrils. Right then, it shows you where man came from. That's right. Man is a product of earth. That's right. Man come from ground. That's right. But in order for man to move, what happened? And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. That didn't come from the earth. Right. That came from above. That's right. Why? Because life is a gift. Yeah. Life, I said, That's right. is a gift. That's right. Or it take God and James says, every good gift and every perfect or complete gift come from above. Mm -hmm. And it comes down. From the father of lights of whom there is no variables, no shadow of turning. Right. So when man was created, his body came from earth and his breath come from above. Right. Now look at what happened to you when you die. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7. That's what? Then shall the dust, dust return to the earth. What? What? Dust don't return to the earth. As it was. Read all of it. Get the whole sentence. Don't break up the statement. Listen at this now. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. You hear that? As it was, that let you know where dust come from. Right. The origins of dust come from earth. That's where it was. That's why when you die, you don't go to heaven. That's, right. That's, right. That's why when you die, your dust don't go to heaven. Right. Mm -mm. Your dust go back to earth. to the earth. You can see the funeral director at the grave grabbing dirt as a symbolic thing. Dust go back to dust. 
dust go back to dust. Why? Your physical body didn't come from heaven, but the purpose of your physical body came from heaven. That's right. The purpose of it. All right. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Then dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit. Oh, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Oh, that goes to God. That's right. There's a separation, and they both come to meet to create man. And there's a separation when man come to an end. That's right. When God made that body of the Son of God, there's a separation from the human and the divine, from God and the Son of God, from lion and the lamb. There's a separation in nature. One nature is eternal. The other nature was temporal. It is written, those things that are seen are temporal, and that which is not seen is eternal. So God took on flesh. Now you apostolics say, God became a man. That's one of the biggest lies out there. God ain't never became what he took on. No. Took upon him the form of I a suit. I took on the suit. Mm -hmm. I dare you to tell me I'm a suit. Yeah. I'm not the suit. That's right. I took it on. That's right. The Bible says in the second chapter of Philippians. And at verse 7. Has what? But made himself of no reputation. He made himself of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant. Wait a minute. He took it on. That's right. Hold it. We got to find out where did he take it on. Glory to God, he went to a house. It was called David's house. Amen. And when he went to David's house and found the body in that body of Mary, amen. And when he made that body, he took on that servant because he said he took upon him the form of a the servant. Form. God form is God shape. God shape is God fashion. God fashion is God figure. God figure is God image. God image is God similitude. God similitude was the sacrifice which was the son of God that had the title second Adam. The first Adam and the second Adam had a lot in common. The, the yet, first Adam. Yeah, yet, I said, yeah. they were different. Yes. First Adam and the second Adam had a lot in common. That's right. Yet, they were different. That's right. The first one failed, yeah. introducing sin into the world. The first one didn't start off a baby. I want to say, you can't prove that, Pastor Jennings. Sure I can. Just look at the language of the Bible. Let us make man. 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 And a baby ain't a man. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Man. God created man. God created man. Man in his own image. Man. man. Now, when he created man in his image, that does, not only does that take on the shape, but Adam took on the characteristics of God, right. and he took on the thinking of God, and he took on the function of God. What do you mean the function of God? He was sent to maintain the God, just like God maintained creation. That's right. Adam had a title that God had, and Adam was the first one to have it before any other man came. That's right. God is called Father. Well, Adam is called First Father. First father. That's right. What you mean, First Father? He's the first earthly father, but yet God said, I'm the first. That's right. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm the first heavenly father. So here he was the first and is the first heavenly father and made Adam who is the first earthly father. Thy the first only, father. The only difference is the earthly father had the answer to the heavenly father and the heavenly father ain't got an answer to nobody. That's right. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. So here you had Jesus, the eternal spirit taking upon him upon the form. The form of a servant. Of a servant. Why? God couldn't serve us the way he was. To serve the human family, you have to be in the likeness of the human family. Right. You better give me the eighth chapter quickly now. Yes. Of the book of Romans. Romans. Ahead of me. There's well, therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not walk after the flesh, but after, after the spirit. After the spirit. For, the for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. And death and but what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh. Weak to the flesh what God, did God do? God sending his own son in the God likeness. Did what? Sending his own son. God did what? God sending his own son. And how did he look? In the likeness of sinful flesh. Hold up! 
Right then, that told me he didn't come from heaven. That's right. Right then. That's right. He said, in the likeness. In the likeness of sinful of flesh. Of sinful flesh. And there is That's right. no likeness of sinful flesh in eternity. That's right. That's right. None. So what did he do? He went to the house of a prophet, which was David's house. Amen. And he dressed up because he had a dirty job. You know, a mechanic don't work on a car in his suit. Even if he owned the company, he may get out of his Rolls Royce and got his pressed out suit. But when he go in his office, he's changing. Put on his overalls. Why? Working clothes. He got a dirty job. That's what God did. Took upon him the form of a servant. You see, he took upon him the form of a servant and the material of that servant was in the likeness of sinful flesh, meaning it had the appearance of sinful flesh, but it was not sinful flesh. Why? Because when he was born, Mary knew not a man. That's right. That's why I said likeness. Likeness. He came looking like everybody else. That's right. Amen. Blending in uh, with everybody else. Someone said, Jesus blend in. Oh, yes, yes. That's why you think they got upset so much. You'll hear this fella blending in and then declare, I'm a king. What? That's right. You a king and you born in the hood? That's right. Telling me you a king. You born in the hood? What do you think Nazareth was? Nazareth, in modern terms, is the hood. That's why the question was asked, can anything clean? Come out of the Nazareth. Can anything worthwhile come out of there? So he, he come out the hood and uh, declaring king and folks bowing to him. Oh, wait a minute. That's why you see him constantly being ridiculed. Oh, we know our earthly father. He cast out devils by the prince of devils. He's a child of a fornicator because they did not know that Mary did not stop by flesh. Thank God for Jesus to arrive. That's why his conception was different. It was great and it was for the purpose of sacrifice. In the Old Testament, when they got a lamb, before that lamb could be offered, it could not have a spot. It could not have a blemish. Uh, none of the eye, not, not one eye could be wrong. No limb could be broken because the sacrifice always represents the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. And uh, a, a lamb that was crippled represented a lamb that had a spot. And Jesus had no spot, no wrinkle, infallible, perfect, beyond perfect. In order for the sacrifice to take away our sins, the spirit couldn't do it. It took blood to atone for you. Spirit don't have no blood. God don't have no blood. It ain't no blood in heaven. Nobody in heaven could atone for you the way you were. So he did a search in the fifth chapter of Revelation. Revelation he chapter said, five. Heaven was searched. And no and man the in earth heaven was searched. Yeah. And he went down underneath the earth. And that was searched, and no man was found worthy. Glory to God. So open the book and then loose the seven seals thereof. And John let me know how, how he was affected by this. He said, I wept much. And I wept much because, because no man was no found man. worthy. No man. No man was found worthy. Glory to God was found worthy. To open and to read to the book. To open and to read the book. Neither to look thereon. Then what? And one of the elders saith unto me. One of the elders. Saith unto me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just a minute now. Who spoke to him? One of the elders. You see, the elders That's represent right. the Old Testament That's right. and the New Testament. That's, right. That's why the Bible said around the throne there were 24 Four seats, seats, and on the seats were 24 elders, right. clothed in white raiment, and they had on their head crowns of gold. 12 plus 12 is 24. He had 12 tribes of Israel. He chose 12 men and made them apostles. So one of the elders. So when one elder spoke, that elder represents the past prophets, amen, and represent the apostles that would write. That's right. So when he began to talk, 
Amen. To the apostle, he said, What? One of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Weep not. Behold the line of the tribe of Wait Judah. Wait a minute. Amen. What, 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 what the elder doing? I'm making reference to the Old Testament. Yeah. I'm going back. Why? Because yeah. all the elders represent the prophets and the apostles. The reason why all 24 had crowns of gold on their head because the authority that was in the prophets was the same authority that was in the apostles. It's the reason why they all was arrayed in white robes because it is written that all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God and the prophets and the apostles had the same spirit. Same thing moved on Jeremiah, moved on Peter. So one of the elders saith unto me, weep not. One of the 24. Yeah. And then all 24 is able to go back and forth. Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament, able to go back and forth. That's right. One of the elders. One of the elders says unto me, weep not. I want you to listen how he talked. Yeah. Weep not. Behold, Behold, the lion of the tribe of the Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. What did he do? Hath prevailed. What? Hath prevailed. What? Hath prevailed. Wait a minute. He told John, he already. Jesus already done it. Hath prevailed. He spoke in past tense. Hath prevailed. And he already done it. Right. Well, that lock in prophecy and that lock in fulfillment of prophecy, right. he already done it because the Old Testament talked about his death before his birth. Right. He said, they pierced my hands and my feet, let the habitation be desolate, and don't let no one dwell there in their tents, and that which I've been for a welfare, let it become a trap. Isaiah saw him on the cross bleeding before he was born. Who is that? They're coming from bulls all with a die. Oh, hallelujah. Who is it? Thank God. Amen. They're coming from Edom with a dyed garment from bulls all. A dyed garment. Amen. Him that is glorious is apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speaketh righteousness, mighty to save. But then when Isaiah saw him, he was treading the wine press alone. Alone. Right then, that's something different. That's right. Because when you made wine in the old day, one person wasn't in the press. That's right. You had more than one. That's right. Eh? That's right. You had more than one pressing the grapes. They get the juice off the grapes. But for this purpose, you didn't need a lot. You mm -hmm. only had one. That's right. Crushing the grapes. Hallelujah. Eh? I have tried the Why? wine press. Hallelujah. Glory to God that you have one. Because it was one sacrifice. No. It was one offering. Right. It was one body. Right. Until the Bible speaks plain. Right. The Bible says he offered that body once. Once for all. He offered that body once. once for all. He offered that body once. once for, all. for all. So Christ was once offered. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. What did Isaiah say? How many? Who is this that cometh from Who Edom? Is that? That's coming from Edom. With dyed garments from Bozrah. What, wait, wait, what's wrong with his garment? This that is what's died, wrong with his garment? dyed garments. Wait a minute. When he dyed his garment, when they pierced him in the side, out came blood and water, and the blood dyed his garment. That's right. Hey, Amen. Coming from Edom with a dyed garment from Bozrah. This that is glorious in his apparel. Oh, he's glorious. Lord. And his clothing. Tra travailing in the greatness of the, the strength. Of the strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty, what? mighty to save. He's what? Mighty to save. He's mighty to save. Wherefore art thou art red in thine apparel? Red. In thine apparel. Yeah. You all bloody. That's right. I see you shedding blood for me. That's right. <laughs> in your apparel. And thy garments, and like, garments? Him, like him that treadeth in the wine fat. Like him that treadeth the wine fat. I have tried the wine press alone. Oh, that lets you know how severe the bleeding was. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. If you look, it, it, the Bible itemized, and most folk don't see that. He mm. says his garments, mm. his garments, <laughs> is like him. With dyed garments from both. It's like him. Yeah, With, listen. His garments and thy is garments listed. like him. His garments is like him that tread in the, the wine, wine fat. press. The Bible compared the color of his garment like someone that been in the wine press, letting you know the anguish, the pain, and the loose, the loss of blood. He was drenched. Did you hear what he said? Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Wait a minute. He bled so much. How did he look? Red in thine apparel. Not, not little spots. No. No. Uh -uh. He knew in order for me to get the type of church I want, I got to do some suffering that I never had to do. I, 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 I got to have some pain. Amen. That way when my people come along after my death and when they hurt, 
they can get consolation from my hurt. That's right. Yeah. That's right. When they in pain, oh, it's a God, they can look back at me. Amen. And remember, when I was on the cross, I died for a day like this. Yeah. Oh, it's a how you hear what I'm talking? What is that? Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Wherefore? Art thou red in thine apparel? You're red in your apparel. And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. Your garments is like him. That treadeth in the wine That treadeth in the wine. I have tried the wine press I alone. I tread the wine press alone. And of the people there was none with me. Uh, look, wait a minute. Nobody was with him? None with me. He was in the wine press by himself. Alone. That let you know nobody could spill the blood of grapes but Jesus. That's right. And, amen. Nobody can spill the blood of a grape. Let us remember, a grape come from a vine. Now you're talking about the body of Jesus again in the 15th chapter of the book of John. I am the true vine. The true vine. Right. Glory to God. And you, and you see the true vine. Thank God. Hang it up there on the tree. Cuss it. Be the man. Glory to God that hangeth on the tree. Amen. And when they pierced him in a sad and the out came blood and water, the, the blood of the grapes came out, dyed his garment. Bless God, and when they dyed his garment, he shed blood for redemption. Now, viewers, now, viewers, God didn't die. Son of God died. God wasn't born. Son of God was born. Now, that takes me back there. Dan demands Stacy yet question. Where did the Son of God come from? That's right. Did he come from heaven or did he come from earth? Did his physical body come from heaven or flesh and blood? Or did his physical body come from earth? Well, Pastor Jennings, we know flesh and blood didn't come from heaven. Everybody don't know that. Mm -mm. The cap has been preaching that the flesh and blood of the Son of God came from heaven. There's many out here now talking about flesh and blood came from heaven. And I agree with Paul in the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians, Corinthians that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. So, Pastor Jennings, where did the Son of God come from? Let's trail this now. Let's go to the first chapter of the book of Luke. Amen. Uh, Luke chapter, chapter one. one. We can have verse 30 quickly now. Luke, Luke chapter one, we're at verse 30. Follow me. And the angel said unto her, fear not, Mary. The angel said to her, don't be afraid, Mary. For thou hast found favor with you God. Found, hallelujah. Glory to God, you found favor with God. And behold, Look. thou shalt conceive in thy womb. No, you're going to conceive in heaven. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Right then, that, 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 that's earth. That's right. Right then, it's earth. That's right. Right then, it's earth. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in your body. And bring forth a son. Bring forth a son. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. You going to bring forth a what? And bring forth a son. Who is it? And shalt call his name Jesus. Yes. What else to say about it? He shall be great. He shall be what? He shall be great. And what? And shall be called the son of the highest. Two natures there. Son and highest. Son of the highest means son of the spirit. Son of God means servant of God. Son of God means minister of God. God was manifest in the flesh to teach you and I how to serve. Now listen at this close in the first chapter of Luke. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the Real highest. Quick. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Yes. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. All right. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Yes. Then said Mary unto the angel, Listen how shall this be? Then said Mary to the angel, how this going to be? Seeing I know not a man. Everything is pointing to earth. Right. Everything is pointing to earth. Yeah. Everything. The moment she say, I don't know a man, she ain't talking about in heaven. No. There ain't no woman going to know a man up in heaven. Oh, no. Everything is pointing to earth. When Mary said, how can this be, seeing that I, know, I don't know a man, Mary was saying, I'm not involved with no man. Right. I'm a virgin. Right. I'm not having sex with nobody. Yeah. I'm clean. Because in the Old Testament, when a woman's virginity was broke, she had to wear a garment where before her virginity was broke, she wore a garment that was multicolored. But when her virginity was broke, she had to tear that multicolored garment garment and then cover herself and sackcloth in ashes as a sign to all Israel that her virginity is violated. That's right. 
All right. Then said Mary unto the angel, how shall this be? How is this going to be? Seeing I know not a man. I don't know no man. And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Wait a minute. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost shall come God. upon thee. The Spirit. The I am that I am. The Creator. He's just going to come upon you. And the power of the highest. Talking about the same Holy Ghost. Now address it in another title. And the power, the power of the highest. Of God. Shall overshadow thee. It's going to overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy Spirit. And thing. when it overshadow you. Amen. It's going to make a thing that holy, holy thing. And the thing is going to be holy from its the start. Therefore, That's also. That's why it's called holy thing. A thing of God. That's right. That holy thing. Which shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. And you infidel said God was born. God? When a thing is born, it got a birthday. God ain't got no birthday. The body that God was in had a birthday. The body that God was in was born. God was not born. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Janus. We believe God was born because God was in the body of the Son of God. All right, let's look at your logic and look at your stupidity. Your logic and your stupidity equal a fool. If you said the reason why you preach God was born because God was in Christ Jesus, the Son of God, when he was born. So that means when the body came out, God came out. So my question is this, how many times is God born? Because God is the spirit of life, and anyone that's born, God is in them. So how many times is God born? My birthday was 57 years ago. Was God born 57 years ago? Stick to what the Bible said. That's right. The Bible ain't never said that which shall be born of thee shall be called God. No. Because God is not born. Right. Well, Pastor Genesis gave Bible that only the son part was born. You overlooked the very prophecy in Isaiah 96. 96. Hey, Amen. Quickly now, stay ahead of me. Isaiah hey, chapter 9 verse 6. I didn't get no six. sleep all night. Stay ahead of me now. You got to help keep me woke now. Isaiah 9 and 6. Focus on the language of the Bible. For unto us. On us. A child. What? A child. A what? A child. God is no child. That's right. God ain't nobody's child. On us, a child, a child is born. Oh, and say, well, how can God be in something and not have a beginning? Easy. <laughs> God is in the world, That's right. but God don't have no beginning. The world is His creation. God is in me. You may not believe it, may not accept it, and I really don't care. Yeah. That's right. God is in Pastor Jennings, but God was here before I was. That's right. God was in Moses, That's right. who was here first. Moses or God? Yeah. God was in Elijah. God was in Elisha. God was in all the holy prophets. God was in the apostles. When God made them, that was not the beginning of God. No. God had no beginning and God had no ending. That's right. Lord, that God, but the sacrifice, the offering, the lamb that was designed, set aside before the foundation of the world through prophecy was foreordained to take away the sins of creation. For, That's the thing that was born. That's right. All right. For unto us a child is born. A child. Child is born. Child. And yet child. God was in that child. That's right. And God was not the child. Yeah. God ain't no child. No. Uh -uh. no, God ain't got to grow. No. And God don't learn. That's right. I thought you preached Jesus Christ is God. I do. And he is. But I ain't talking about the flesh. That flesh ain't God. That's right. Amen. If the flesh is God, then it make the Catholics right when they say hell married a mother of God. That's right. And you believe that lie, you are go to hell. That's right. Telling that lie on God. That's right. Hell married a mother of God. God ain't got no mother. God is not a man. God is not a man. God is not a man that he should lie. But what? Neither the son of man. That he should repent. Someone said, but Jesus was a man. That's true. But the man of him was not God. God was in that man. And the man took on the name of the spirit. And the spirit name was Jesus. And the flesh inherited that same name. 
That's why whenever the flesh talk about his name, he come along promoting the spirit. And if you read the things about Jesus, he never gloried in his flesh. Right. He always pointed to the spirit. What you mean pointed to the spirit? When he referred to father, he ain't referring to another God. He referred to the nature that was in him that made him a sacrifice for the world. That's right. All right? For unto us a child is born. Child, flesh, blood, human, body. Is born. Is born. Unto us a son is given. God didn't die. That's right. You can't kill God. That's right. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. You can't kill Brother, if you can kill God, I'm scared of you. Amen. Because that means you got power. That's right. They killed the prince of life, but they didn't kill God. That's right. Because when he died, God already came out. He's out of there. Yeah. Right. And went to the lower parts of the earth. They never touched God. That's right. <laughs> Huh? That's right. Never touch God. Amen. But they touched the body that God was in right. to the degree that after he died, they went to go break the legs, and uh, but they didn't break his legs because he was dead already. Oh, Not only that, the prophecy had his body under well surveillance, and the prophecy had his body under protection, and the prophets, amen, had his body well insured. They went to break them, but they couldn't do it. And the reason For why these they things couldn't were done. do it because the prophet said they couldn't. That's right. Huh? That's right. The Bible said not a bone would be broken. For these Amen. things were and done. And it said not a bone would be broken, they went and broke the legs of the thieves. You see, the reason why they broke the legs back then, that way they make sure you're dead and you can't move around. That's right. In case superstition stepping in folk. That's right. Amen. But when Jesus died, they pissed. One preacher said, you got it wrong. They pressed Jesus in the side before he died. And as no, they came to Jesus after he died. Right. They came to Jesus after he died. But when they came to Jesus, Listen at this. now in the book of St. John, chapter 19 and verse 33. When they came to Jesus. And saw that he was dead already. That settles that. They saw that he was already dead. They break not his legs. They didn't break his legs. But one of the soldiers one with the a soldier. spear pierced his side. Did what? And, and, but one of the soldiers with a spear Pierced his side. And what? And forthwith came there out blood and well, water. After he died, they pierced him in the side out came blood and water. That's so right. here you had the Son of God. The origins, the place where the Son of God originated from was prophecy being predestinated before the foundation of the world to come into the world to take away the sins of the world. But with the precious blood of Christ. Listen at this. Now in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. The precious blood of Christ. As of a lamb. Listen, listen. Don't read quick. Don't read quick. Pay attention to the language of the book. Yes. Pay attention to the language of the book. Listen closely. But with the precious blood of Christ. What is it? As of as, a lamb. As a sacrifice. That's right. That what? Without blemish without and without blemish. spot. Without blemish what? Without blemish and without spot. What else? Who verily was foreordained when? before the foundation of the world. No, he exists before the foundation of the world. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world. It didn't say he exists before the foundation of the world. No. It said he was foreordained. Now, when a thing is foreordained, it don't exist yet. That's right. It's foreordained for a certain time. That's right. A future time. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. In the book of Galatians. In the book of Galatians. Chapter 4 and at verse 4. And let's look at the word time. Mm -hmm. But when the fullness of the time was and, come. And even so we were children in bondage. Even so under we. Under the elements of the world. But when the, when full, the fullness of the time, of time was come. Was come. God sent God, forth his son. Wait a minute. Time had to be fulfilled. That's right. Certain time. That's right. Certain arrival. And when you finish that, go back to the first chapter of the book of Luke and let's see what month was it when Gabriel came to Mary. Because if it says fullness of time, they got to have a certain month in order for that time to be put into action. When the fullness of time was come, God sent forth the Son. Made of a made woman. Made in heaven. Ma made of a woman. Oh, no, 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 no. You better read that right. Amen. Read that right. What's the matter with you? You got glasses and I'm tired now. God right. sent forth his son made of a woman. No, 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 no. God sent forth the son made in heaven. God sent forth his son made of a woman. No, made in heaven. Made of a woman. Somebody's lying and it ain't the Bible. That's right. 
Made of a woman during what time? Made under the law. Hold it! Oh, that's pointing to earth. Why? Moses' law was not in heaven. That's right. It was made under the law. Under the letting you know what law was ruling the earth during the time of Jesus' birth. That's right. He was made of a woman, made under the law. And under the law. For what reason? To redeem them that were under the law. You see, he was he come along being born during the time of Moses' law. That's why he stood between law and and grace, he's called mediator, so he can grasp you in. He pulled you over from the law, what you mean he pulled you from the law? He come along getting rid of all them old sacrifices that amounted to nothing, yet they represent him. Bless God, but he come along taking the place of all sacrifice. He took the place of the bread offering and said, I'm that bread from heaven. He took the place of the water being poured on the stone. He said, I'm the stone whom the builders refused to come to the head of the corner. He took the place of the meat offering. It is rifted meats for the belly and belly for the meat. He took the place of the ox. Ezekiel said, I saw four beasts with four faces on each side, had a face of a man, the face of an ox, face of an eagle, and the face of a lion, face of a man, meaning how he would have favor with God, face of an ox, meaning he would be a sacrifice, face of an eagle, show you the quickness of God, and Face bless God of a lion will show you the authority of God. All right. To redeem them that were under the to law. Redeem them. Pull them from the law. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Wait a minute. How will we become sons? That we might to redeem them that How were under the law. How will we become sons? That we might receive the adoption of sons. You know, we were orphans. We were, we, and the world was an orphanage. Having no hope. That at that time ye were without Christ. I told you. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 12. At that 12, time. Ye were without Christ. Ye were without God. Being aliens, aliens from the commonwealth from of the Israel. From the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers, strangers. From the covenants of promise. From the covenant of promise. Having no hope. No hope. And without God in oh, the world. God without God in the world. But now. Now. In Christ Jesus. What? But now, in Christ Jesus. Now in Christ Jesus. Ye who sometimes were far off. To ye, ye Gentiles. Well, sometimes far off. Are made nigh by the blood They're of Christ. They got close now. That's right. By the blood. Of Christ. Uh, by the blood of Christ. And that blood didn't come from heaven. That's right. That blood didn't come from heaven. And, and here, here, let me go further now. The blood didn't come from heaven. And the blood didn't come from David's house. That's right. Wait a minute, Pastor General. How can you say that? The blood that was running through David's house was tainted yeah. with Adam's sin and with Adam's transgression. You better give me St. John, Saint chapter, John one. chapter 1. And we're at verse 13. Let me show you, thank God, when I say he made a body, I mean he made everything. everything. Huh? He didn't need no blood from David's house. David's house needed his blood. That's right. All right. St. John chapter 1 and verse 13. That's what? Which were born. Listen at the birth of Jesus. Which was born? Not of blood. Not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. Uh-oh. Nor of the will of the flesh mean there was no sweetheart to come along for him to get here. That's right. What? Nor of the will of man. Uh, Mary didn't lust after no man, and man didn't lust after Mary for him to get here. But of God. Who made him? But of God. How did he arrive? Of God. That's right. Now, Hebrew says this. As the children are partakers, of flesh and blood. He, talking about Jesus, also himself likewise took part of the same that he, through death, may destroy him that had the power of death. Of death. He didn't take on the nature of angels. But we see Jesus. Listen at this. Now in the book of Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9. We see Jesus. But we see Jesus who was made. He, wait a minute. That part ain't talking about God. That's right. God ain't made. That's right. Everything that's made got a beginning. That's right. Get this viewers. We're not preaching to God's. When Jesus was walking here on earth, which was God manifested in the flesh, it wasn't two gods. It was two natures. The spirit that was in that body, that was God and that was everywhere. And the body itself was the son of God. And that nature can only be in one place at a time. 
Listen. But we see Jesus. We see Jesus. Who was made a little lower than the angels. He was made a little lower. A little lower. The nature of flesh and blood is uh, lower than the nature of spirit. Right. All right? Who was made a little lower than the angels. That what? For the suffering of death. He was made... In that nature, for what reason? For the suffering of death, uh -huh. crowned with glory, crowned and, with glory, and honor, and honor, that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. Yes. For as much then as the children, listen at this, as much then as the children are partakers are of flesh partakers and blood. Partakers of flesh and blood. He also himself likewise took part of the same. And what? That through death. He might destroy him that had the power of death. Who is it? That is the devil. What else? And deliver them who through fear of death yes. were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Uh -huh. But verily he took not on him the nature of angels. Listen, viewers. Jesus didn't take on the natures of angels. You know why? He had that already. The right. Bible said he maketh his angel spirit. So when he was manifest in the flesh, he didn't come to take on the natures of angels because God was already spirit. But what did he do? But he took, he on, took him on him the, the seed, seed of Abraham. Seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham was not in heaven. The seed of Abraham didn't start in heaven. The seed of Abraham didn't come from heaven. Abraham's seed is an earthly seed right here on earth, on this planet. That's right. So when he made that body, he didn't just make flesh, he made an entire sacrifice. That's right. Jesus' blood was superior, higher, better than everybody. How much more shall the blood of Christ? Listen at this, listen at this. In Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 14. And then I want you to go back to the book of Luke. Well, let's deal with time, the fullness of time, and you'll see when the Bible said we're in the sixth month. Yeah. That's when the angel Gabriel came. Read quick because so much coming to my mind, and then I want the first chapter of the book of Romans so I can get uh, what it consists of, and then I want the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians so I can get that yeah. same thing that he consists of was not allowed to go up there. That's right. All right. right. Now, now we're in the book of Hebrews, chapter 9 and verse 14. Follow me. How much more shall the blood of Christ, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, who through the spirit, offered himself without Without spot to God. What? Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the but living if God. If his blood was like yours, I had a man tell me, Jesus' blood was just like mine. And I asked him, why don't you die for everybody? That's right. Let me see you die. That's you right. fool. That's a fool and an eternal fool. That's right. Jesus' blood was like yours? Like no. Jesus' body was better than yours. That's right. Amen. Now why? He, only he can die for you. Yeah. He was and shall always be the only infallible, perfect, spotless, flawless sacrifice. That's right. Amen. Only he. That's, right. That's why he died. My God, that thing affect heaven and earth so much until darkness, why he hung there. Yeah. Darkness. Glory to God covered the earth. Amen. Heaven lights went out, yeah. and then the earth began to shake like a drunken man. Right. It is written how the earth quaked and darkness fell. Right. Amen. That lets you know heaven and earth had to acknowledge that the sacrifice was done. And you hear Jesus saying, at his end, it's finished. It's finished. It's finished. Yeah. What do you mean it's finished, Jesus? I fulfilled it. That's right. I've done it. I tried praying getting out of it, but I couldn't do it. Hallelujah. It's finished. I'm dead now. Well, how are you dead and you're still talking? My body is dead. Amen. That's just my clothes. Spirit steps out of it. Huh? Spirit come out and go down to the lower parts of the earth. Why? The spirit had to meet the ones that he met before. The prophets. Huh? Spirit went on down there. Why, listen, while they was taking the body off the cross, spirit was gone. Yeah. Been gone. For, for this cause was the gospel and, preached. And why? Because he had to go to the lower parts of the earth, which is the grave, which is hell. There are two hells. There's the hell, which is the grave. Then there's a lower hell, which is the eternal hell that I'm trying to keep you out of. Yeah. Listen at this. But you started to read, son. For now, this cause was well, the, for this cause was the gospel preached. First John chapter four and that verse six. For this cause was the gospel preached. To what? 
also to them that are dead, uh -huh. that they might be judged according to men in, in the flesh. And what? But live according to God in the, the spirit. The Bible said he preached to those spirits. That's right. He preached to those spirits right. that was in prison. The Son of God couldn't preach to the spirits in prison. Why, Pastor Jennings? Because the spirits that was in prison was all around the world. And only the nature of the spirit can be every place at the same time. By which That's also, why, listen at this. First Peter chapter 3 and Very verse 19. Quick. By which also he went. He went. And preached unto the spirit. And preached to the spirit. In prison. That was in the grave. So here, 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 here. Go ahead, take God. The spirit of God preached to the spirit that was in prison. In prison. The spirit of God preached to the spirit that was in prison because the spirit of God is everywhere. Now think of it. He preached to the spirits that was in prison. That goes from the first man death, Adam, yeah. all the way up to Jesus' death. That's right. And the Son of God was a local. He only could be in one place at a time. But the Spirit of God, everywhere. 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 He preached to the spirits. By which also he went and preached unto the, spirits, preached to the spirits in prison. In prison. For for this cause for was, this the gospel cause preached. was the gospel preached. Also to them that are also dead. To them that, are dead that they might be judged that according to men in the flesh. But live according to God in the spirit. So that body of flesh and blood originated in David's house. In the first chapter of the book of Luke. And at verse quickly. 26. And begin at verse 26. And in the sixth month the angel gave That him, was the fullness of time. That's right. That's, that's, when, that's when time got things activated there. That's right. Amen. Things got activated in the sixth month mm -hmm. when the angel Gabriel. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God. Sent from God. Unto a city of Galilee to named Nazareth. city of Galilee. Uh -huh. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was a Joseph. A virgin engaged to a man Joseph. Of the house of David. Yes. And the virgin's name was Mary. Uh -huh. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored. Yes. The Lord is with thee. The Lord Blessed is with you, Mary. Blessed art thou. Among women. No, the Catholics added that. Yeah. The Catholics said, Hail Mary, Mother of God. Blessed art thou above women. Amen. But the Bible says, The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Oh, among them. Among women. Not above them. That's right. And uh -huh. so uh, you may as well just get that sales pitch. Mary, the Mother of God. No, she wasn't. No. God of heaven. God of heaven right. is motherless. Right. Never had a mother. Had a mother. It was the Son of God, the flesh that God made to die. Right. That had a mother, and Mary, or as the Arab as the Arabs call her, Miriam was she. Right. Uh -huh. Now in the book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 3. Let's see what he can say there. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, Begin our at Lord. at verse 1. At verse 1. Listen. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. called to be an apostle. Called to be an apostle. Separated unto the gospel of God. Yes. When he had promised before by his prophets. Yes. In the Holy Scriptures. Wait a minute. He did what? Which he had promised afore Which by his prophets. Which he promised before. Look at the apostle Paul reaching to the Old Testament of what the prophets said would come. That's right. Uh -huh. Which he had promised afore by his prophets. Yes. In the Holy Scriptures. In the Holy Scriptures. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ our Wait Lord. Wait a minute. He talked about the son, Jesus Christ our Lord, by the prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Mm -hmm. What did he consist of? Which was made of the seed of David. Wait. When he arrived, how was he made? Which was made of the seed of David. And what did he consist of? According to the flesh. What is it? And declared to be the son of God with power. Wait a minute. Amen. He was made. Which was made of the seed of David. Of the seed of David. According to the flesh. The flesh. And declared. And what was the flesh declared to be? To be the son of God. The flesh was declared to be who? And declared to be the son of God. The flesh was declared to be who? The son of God. And what was in him? A according to the spirit. What was in him? According to the spirit of holiness. Yeah. Amen. Flesh and blood of Jesus, viewers, I want you to hear the old troublemaker. Any man tell you that Mary's baby came from heaven, they don't know nothing about the Bible. Heaven was not made for human beings. That's right. That's why when the Lord come for the church, he don't want this stuff up there. That's right. He said he's going to change our vowed body. That's right. 
in Philippians, I believe, 3.23 or 3.21. He's going to change our vowed body and fashion it like unto his glorious body. Then Paul picked it up again when he went to Corinth and said, this mortal going to put on in mortality. Thank God. He's going to change it. In a moment. Wait a minute. How quick we going to change? In a moment. How quick? In a moment. In a moment. In a twinkling of an eye. twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. At the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound. the trump shall sound. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Christ shall raise. Incorruptible. Not natural. And we shall be changed. No, we're going to remain the same. We shall be changed. We're going to remain the same. We shall be changed. Amen. As Peter preached Jesus. That I must pull off this tabernacle right. as Christ hath showed me. That's right. Amen. So when he was hanging there on the cross, that body of flesh and blood that came from the house of David from the tribe of Judah, the natural man died. His natural life ended on the cross, but his eternal life never ended. That's right. They took the body of flesh and bones from the cross, laid it in the grave, but the spirit was already down there preaching three days and three nights to the spirits that was in prison. In order for that body to live again, life had to come back in it. If blood would have came back in that body, that body would have lived after the natural, but it lost all the blood on the cross. So the only other life was the eternal life. For the Bible says, as the father had life with himself, so hath he given to the son to have life in himself. So here you had a natural body of flesh and bones, and in order for the body to live, life had to come in, so the body switched lives. Right. Glory to God. It was a switch up. He lost all the natural life on the cross, and the everlasting life, which is the spirit, picked the body up, and when the spirit got in that body, that's what it meant when it says he rose a quickening spirit. When a thing is quickened, it's awakened, it's revived, now it's back. But now being that it's back is different than it was when he went down. But some man will because say. Because he took on the glory of the spirit. That's right. And the Bible says in the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians. And verse 35. Some man will say. How are the dead raised up? How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? What body do they come? Thou fool. If all bodies were the same, then the question would never come up. That's right. There got to be a difference. Right. And he said what? Thou fool. You fool. That which thou sowest so is not quickened. you out there quickened. criticize me when I call you a fool. Don't complain. I'm repeating what's written here. Thou fool. You fool. That which thou sowest is not quickened. that fight that there's you fight and said there's more than one God when I call you a fool. The Bible says. Thou fool. Thy fool. That which thou sowest is not quickened except it die. Thou which you plant is not quickened until it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall you be. You don't show the future. You're not planting the future body. That's right. You're not planting the future body. Thou sowest not that body that shall you're be. You're not planting the body that shall be. But bear grain. But you're planting the body that is. Get a better understanding. Yeah. No farmer that plant corn going around putting stalks in the ground. Right. No farm. He put grain. Then that seed got to be quickened. Why? It's dead. And then when heaven quickened it, it comes out the ground, newness of life. That's right. That's right. Before then, he may have a bag of grain, not a bunch of stalks, Grain, seed. Then the power of God quickened it. Then it resurrected from the dead and it come up green and keep growing. Keep growing. Corn start forming on it. It got a new body. And with the new body, you can do more with that new body do more with that stuff than you could just with a bag of grain. That's right. Glory to God. That's what happened to Jesus. We needed an example of what gonna happen to us after death and how we gonna come back. So he died, put the death in the flesh and then quickened 
by the Spirit. He lost the blood on the cross, so the Spirit steps in the body. And when the Spirit steps in the body, and the Bible says he rose a quickening spirit, or it was raised in glory, the flesh was no longer a relative of the human race. Somebody say, well, that was Mary's child. That was not Mary's child. Mary ain't the mother of something that's glorified. That's right. That's right. Mary ain't birthed a glorified body. That's right. Don't you know if I make the first resurrection and my wife make the first resurrection, when we come back, that won't be my wife. That's right. But she still had the title wife. That's right. Because according to what Jesus said, we shall be the children of the resurrection. Right. And in that day, there is no marriage, given in marriage. nor given in marriage, given in marriage, meaning no engagement. So even though she will be known as she is known, title, wife, but that won't be my wife. That's right. Mm -mm. But she'll have the same shape, same form, same fashion. See, now I can wink at her. When she walk, I can lean over. Any brother get in my way, tell her, move, man, you're blocking my view. And eternity, she can walk all she wants. Yes. I'm just there. That's right. Yes. Huh? But they which shall be accounted worthy. I want to show you the change yes. that Jesus had. That's right. And these fools preaching that flesh and blood is in heaven. Flesh and blood never was made in heaven. No. Blood was never made for heaven. That's right. Blood was made to get us straightened out right here. Right here. Right Ephesians 1, 7. In whom we have redemption. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood. We have it. We. That's right. We, we have redemption. Right here. That's right. Somebody wrote me and said Jesus went to heaven and atoned for our sins. The atonement was here. Here. That's right. Why? Because the altar for atonement was here. That's right. It took death to atone for your sins. And I dare you to tell me he died in heaven. That's right. There ain't no death in heaven. No. That which is up there now liveth forever and ever. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that word. Here, chapter and verse, quick. Now in the book of St. Luke, chapter 20, and I'm at verse 35. They that will be counted worthy. To obtain that world. To obtain that world. And the resurrection from the dead. That world? That world. Uh-oh, it ain't talking about this one. That world. That lets you know there's another world coming. That's right. You'll find that written from the Old Testament to New. I don't have time to get it all out of it. A new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwell of righteousness. That's that world. That world. Uh -huh. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world. That world. And the resurrection from the dead. And the resurrection from the dead. Neither marry nor Wait a minute. Neither marry. Don't tell me you the same. That's right. You're not the same. That's right. You don't marry. Hold it. And if you don't marry, that means there is no lust. Your nature won't rise. The, the, the children of this world marry. Listen. Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 20 and I'm at verse 34. That's what? The children of this world marry. Notice the language. That's right. This world is talking about two different worlds. That's right. Two different functions. That's right. The children of this world. The children of this world marry, marry and are given in marriage. Given in marriage. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world. You got this world and this you got world, a that world. That world. This world gonna pass away. That's right. And we are laboring to get in that world. That world. This world, you walk around with a natural body. That world, you'll have a immortal body. That's right. This world, you are terrestrial. That world, you will be celestial. That's right. Two different bodies. That's right. Both is a body. Just one is natural and the other is eternal. eternal. Both and the, and the celestial body has the shape. That's right. And the form. Right. And the fashion. And the look of a terrestrial body. But the celestial is eternal. That's right. Glory to God. Listen at this. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world. That world. And the resurrection from the dead. And the resurrection from the dead. Neither marry nor are given in marriage. You gonna tell me he's the same way he was? Mm. 
They don't marry no neither. They don't gain given to marry. There was a change. That's right. The change was simply the life force. That's right. There was no natural life which was blood, and the spirit took the place of the blood that affect the outer man. That's why it would affect the outer man so much. The outer man took on the glory of the spirit that was in it, so the outer man can function in a spiritual manner. That's why he said he was spiritual. When he come at the apostles while they was assembling, he ain't knocked. When he rose, he just appeared. Yeah, doing to the body what he didn't do before. That's right. Now the body lived totally off spirit. That's why it was glorified. glorified. Real quick. Now back in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and we're at verse 37. Yes. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be, but bear grain. All right. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain. Yeah. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased God him. God giveth a body that please him. And to every seed his own body. Wait a minute. Amen. That's what he's going to do with the church. Yeah. The body we have now is a terrestrial body, natural yeah. body. The body we're laboring to inherit is a celestial body. That's right. Amen. Celestial, Celestial, eternal, everlasting, immortal. That's right. We are mortal now. Yeah. Like the angels, they are immortal. Yeah. But the immortal angel bear a mortal title. That's right. Daniel called Gabriel and said, that man, yeah. right. Gabriel, who flew swiftly unto me, got a mortal title. Yet immortal body. All flesh is not the same flesh. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of men, another of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. Yes. There are also celestial bodies. There are celestial bodies. And bodies terrestrial. A celestial body is spiritual. The uh, terrestrial is what I have. Mm -hmm. Natural. Real quick, but, son. But the glory of the celestial is the one. The glory, the appearance, the function of the celestial is one. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. The function and the, and the glory or the appearance of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun. There is one glory of the sun. And another glory of the moon. Showing you, look at God want to make sure you get it so right. He's using the elements to show you the difference in appearance and greatness. There is one glory of the sun. One glory of the sun. And another glory another of, the moon, of the moon. And another glory of the stars. Another of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. Uh oh, that, look at all the stars that fill heaven. That's right. But no stars alike. That's right. Isn't that something? Yeah. All the stars in the heaven. But no stars alike. Not one. Mm -hmm. So he bears the title and the shape and the form, and the fashion, son of God. But he no longer have blood, natural life, that makes him a relative of the human race. So yeah, he still have that title, and he always will have it. Huh? He have it and always will have it. Someone say, well, how can you say that? The Bible said of the throne of his father David, there shall be no end. no end. And if there won't be no end, then he will always have an endless title, son of God. That's right. But he won't have no blood, and he don't have no blood in a glorified body. Right. The body in heaven don't need no blood because that thing is all celestial, function by the power, hallelujah, the spirit of almighty God. Until Paul say, in that he liveth, he liveth by the power of God. All right, Acts 238. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Amen. It's time for you to get right with this God. That's right. And Jesus Christ is he. That's right. That flesh and blood was not, is not, and never will be God. The Spirit, Jehovah, I am that I am, the Holy Ghost, the divine nature. That's God. Anybody want to get themselves right with God? Repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want it, stand on your feet now. If not, all right. Amen. We thank God for you.
Amen. We thank God for the saints in Canada. Eight souls were baptized in Canada in the name of Jesus Christ. Four souls today was baptized in Atlanta in the name of the Lord Jesus. All right, we thank God for all of you. Come on back at 5 o'clock. Again, Dan, thank you for getting things started. Amen. Come on back at 5 o'clock. Bless God and get some more gospel in you. Let us all stand. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Father God, for thine word. Thank you, Father God, for the gospel of God that was preached in our hearing. We thank you, Father God, for the man of God. We thank you how you blessed him with the wisdom and knowledge and revelation of thine spirit. We thank you, Father God, for the truth of the gospel. Father God, we thank you for blessing us and allowing us to gather here today. Bless us now not only to be hearers of thine word, but bless us to be doers also. Remember those that's waiting for the Holy Ghost. Bless them, Father God, that they may be filled with thine spirit. Father God, work out every problem in every situation with all of us. Father God, we do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.